Welcome to the next feature video for the repopulation covering trade skills. I'm Joshua Hulls, the lead developer for the repopulation. To the right you should notice that we have our skills menu open, listing the 23 available skills that we have in our alpha build. We have crafting oriented skills such as armor crafting, culinary arts, firearms crafting, and melee weapon crafting. Then we have gathering oriented skills such as wilderness gathering and mining. As we scroll over these it will show us the points and mastery values for each along with a brief description. Uh, so you can see that we have some points already allocated in culinary arts and melee weapons crafting. As we increase our points in these skills uh, with the recipes, when we go to create items in the re recipes, the results will be better uh, from those recipes. So it's important for us to increase those skills, and as we use the recipes, those skills will increase. Uh, in front of us, we have a crafting station, and as you notice, as we hover over the crafting station, it gets darker. That means we're out of range of the crafting station. So we're going to run up to it to a little bit closer. And then you notice it is now white. When we get close enough to it, that means we can use it. So when I right click on it, it gives me a list of available recipes that we can use. We have armor crafting, uh, armor crafting recipes, chemistry, and melee weapon crafting recipes. And we're going to add an additional recipe that we don't have right now. So we're going to open up our inventory and go ahead and look at that. And notice that we have a survival techniques book in our recipe. Uh, in our inventory. So this has the available recipe that we need to add. So we're going to right click on this and it'll show us that it is purified water. We don't have purified water yet. As, as you can see here, it is white and blue. So that means that we can actually learn that. So we'll close that down, go ahead and double click on it to add it to our recipe list. And voila, it is over there in our recipe list now. We're going to go ahead and double click on that to take a look at the recipe and go over the available options inside of the window. At the very top we have our grade bar which is completely empty and an F0 as indicated right here. As we go through and process the crafting recipe it'll go from F to C to D to B to A. The very highest grade quality result we have is what is called an A9. That requires a very high skill level and high quality ingredients and agents as well. Uh, with this recipe we'll most likely produce a C grade result. Uh, with the process, uh, progress bar over to the right, uh, this will go from all the way at the bottom which is empty to every time we hit the process button to full. Once it's full, we can no longer process the recipe and must hit finish to produce the results. The result is listed to the right, which is purified water. This is a very simple recipe that is given out at the very beginning part of the game to create purified water. So there is only one result. Uh, the next recipe we look at, there is a option to uh, have more available results based on what we call filters. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, in the very center, of course, you see the ingredients and the agents as well. The ingredients are consumed when you finish the process. The agents are consumed in every step of the process. When you hit the process button, it's going to consume an agent. What we're going to do now is hit the auto button to auto populate the ingredients and agents out of our inventory. This will pull the best quality options that we have and populate them automatically. So right now we have a level 0 and an a A0 and then an A2. As you notice, when you hover over these, it'll show us the available options in our inventory, making it pretty easy to pull out items out of our inventory if we need to. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and swap out the A0 with a C0 by double clicking on that. When we notice we do that, it will swap these out. We now have a C0 and an A2. We'll go ahead and hit the process button to go through and show how the process works. We hit that and it's going to pop open a random event. We use what we call an event system with the crafting, which allows uh, random events to happen. And then you get some options to choose through. On the left is the default option. Uh, this will increase your grade meter as indicated by 15% for three rounds. So when I hit the process button, the grade will increase by 15% for those three rounds. Uh, then by doing that, hitting de do default, that would be the option I choose. There's no item consumed here. On the right-hand side, we have two options uh, that will either succeed or fail, and will consume an item. If it succeeds, it'll last for three rounds, and it'll adjust the grade meter by 25%. The chance is based on the items consumed. If you have a very low quality uh, item consumed, it's going to be 35%. If it's a very high quality, it's going to be 65%. So the quality of the item actually adjusts the end result as well. Then we have a failure. If that does not happen, it'll be 15% instead of 25%. As we scroll down, we see that we have a one round, one rounder here on the left and on the right. So this will adjust the chance by 65 to 90%. So the chance is a little bit higher that it'll succeed. But if it does fail, we'll have a negative adjustment, meaning that the end quality result will be a little bit worse at least for one round. So what we'll do is go ahead and double click on this here. And we notice that we have a 15% adjustment, so we failed. So for three rounds, we only have a 15% adjustment. So it's better than nothing, but uh, did not succeed. And it did consume the A2 distilled water that we had. So I'll go ahead and finish this out. Hit process a few more times. I get to C6, as you can see here. It hit finish, and we are done. Uh, it has produced the distilled water, the purified water in our inventory. 
And now that we that is done, we have it in our inventory to use uh, and consume. To the left, you should have noticed that the purified water, the skill value for it increased, so we went from zero to one. So every time we go through and complete this, we get to a certain point, it'll increase a point. Uh, so we went from zero to one. Next time would be one to two. And the more points you add into the recipe, the better the result will be. So a very beginner uh, will be able to produce uh, average results as you increase your res you use the recipe more, those points will increase, allowing you to produce better results. Uh, this allows a crafter to specialize in certain recipes, as you can see below. Uh, we have multiple recipes in the melee weapons crafting line, so if we'd focus on bladed penetration, we produce better quality uh, fittings from this recipe compared to the rest if we don't focus on these. So we have both the skill, uh, which is the culinary arts and melee weapons crafting here, then the recipes themselves that factor into the end result. Next we're going to look at a more complicated recipe, which is the bladed penetration recipe. By clicking on this, you should notice that immediately we have three agents uh, and three ingredients that we're going to use this time. So we're going to close down this window and jump into bladed penetration window and we notice that the three grenades and three agents are listed along with four different results. The results uh, come out of the recipe based on what we call a filter. The filter uh, ingredient we have in this recipe is the power distributor. As we hover over this you should notice that we have three different power distributors in our inventory. We're going to auto populate this right now to fill this in and you should notice that when we do this it's going to produce a bladed light penetration fitting. So by doing this uh, with the filter with the light power distributor, it's going to produce a light bladed penetration fitting. We're going to double click on this to swap it out and go ahead and add a medium power distributor. As we do this, you notice it went from light to now medium. So by changing out the ingredient in place there, we'll actually change the result. Uh, so we're going to go through this and hit process. This one has no events attached to it, so it's a pretty straightforward process. We just keep hitting it until it gets to the full mark. Hit finish, and now we have that medium penetration fitting in our inventory. We're going to auto populate again. Well, we'll do previous to show the previous button. If it's auto populated. We'll get rid of the medium power distributor and do an auto fill here. It'll add back in the light penetration fitting. We'll go through and process. This will show one other thing as well. It process a few more times. You should notice that we ran out of one agent, which was the distilled water. Uh, so we can no longer hit the process. I can add this back in from my inventory. Or I can hit finish or abort. We'll then drag this back in uh, and then finish it one more time. Done. Hit finish. So once that's done, it's dropped the fitting into my inventory. Now I have both a bladed penetration, uh, light and medium. So we can click on our long sword here. We notice that uh, we have no fittings included into it. So we'll drag those to the bladed, pen bladed uh, long sword, drop those in, and voila, we have the two fittings now associated with the long sword. And you notice that it's been modified to adjust the penetration values for uh, with a bladed weapon. So that is our crafting system in a nutshell. Uh, we're going to move on now and look at species mastery, uh, which is extraction from corpses. We're going to now take a look at corpse extraction. We're going to target this settling, drop an explosive trap, and shoot him to lure him over the trap. Run backwards and let him go boom over the trap. Now that he's dead, we can go and run up and do a corpse extraction on him. So we're going to lower down and increase his tier. The grade a few times until we're done, then hit finish. Uh, we'll get the items off of the corpse. What this allows us to do is set a, a minimum and a maximum of the grade level results from the corpse. This allows us to produce C, B, and A level results from the corpse uh, to give a little bit of uh, variety and also to uh, allow us to produce uh, premium results as well. Uh, this also factors into what we call the species mastery. We have five points already for settlings. This allows us to get higher quality results off of the corpse uses the corp using corpse extraction. This also improves our combat efficiencies as we increase our points in our different species list on the species mastery. Well, this is all that we have for our trade skills video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check out our website and join in the forums if you have any questions. Again, thank you everyone.